Welcome back, everybody. You already know this your girl have been sent. I want to thank all my subscribers. I truly appreciate y'all. Okay, so this that same shit, different day. Keep in mind, this read is dealing with this full moon in Taurus. Okay, this will be for November 19th. 2021 keep in mind this read is general and it may not resonate with no damn body you see what i'm saying no let me tap right in because the energies that i'm looking at for this full moon in taurus for november 19th it's like okay first off you could have been getting some type of pleasure out of pain like instead of you feeling good maybe about certain people or moments that you were supposed to experience people that you were supposed to be around like relationships you know what I'm saying you may was supposed to experience different people different situations like it was something about enjoying your life getting out there mingling okay free <laughs> pretty much but you were so used to sorrow pain you was getting some type of pleasure out of pain. I feel like now, emotionally, you you got to a place where okay, it's not satisfying. It's not so. It don't feel so good. It it it. it this ain't trending. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This ain't the hot topic. This ain't what motherfuckers is really doing around this bitch it's like so you mean to tell me depression is the new trend okay sad is the new trend settling for less is the new trend it's like nah you may have put an end to that shit you may have said something where you had to cut some shit off I feel like you may have pulled the plug on a certain situation you definitely use that Scorpio energy here and transform some shit. Because right now, November 19th, you should feel light. You should feel free. You should feel happy. You know what I'm saying? I feel like you have let something go before this full moon in Taurus is what I'm feeling. Like, you should be smiling November 19th. You should feel good. Like, you should not feel like a failure, okay? You may have left a particular person behind. I feel like the energy is just free and fulfilled and... I feel like someone is on this path that you may start talking to. You may have actually mastered communication here. You may know how to talk now. Like you may be very intelligent, well-educated, got good information, good insight like know how to judge situations now if this is making sense i feel like who you may run into on this path this person may have a struggle with love like they may get defensive when it comes to love they may be detached like they may overthink about love too much you know what i'm saying and it's going to be some type of emotional beginning. Like you may get to this person's heart space because I feel like you are fulfilled within. So 
once you fulfill within, once you know how to make yourself happy, it's like that's when this person shows the fuck up. Because I feel like right now, you may feel like you're not lacking in anything. Like you overcame a lot of shit. Like you is very successful in certain areas of your life. Like this is pretty much starting over. You know what I'm saying? Starting over, no baggage, but very successful. Overcame a lot of things. You overcame despair. You know what I'm saying? You overcame anxiety. You overcame a lot of your fears. Okay? You overcame the thought of thinking a certain way. I feel like. Like, you may was worried about certain relationships. A certain relationship. You may was worried that you're never going to find the one. You're never going to be fully happy. You know what I'm saying? Like... You may was afraid of not being at peace within the mind. Because I feel like you could have been struggling mentally dealing with what the fuck going on with you. You know what I'm saying? But it, it was just about you being paranoid and you letting fear fuck you. You know what I'm saying? Like that type of shit here. But you overcame it. You overcame it. You, it's like, okay, if I don't know what the fuck is going on, I, I really don't give a fuck. I'm not finna go try to find out shit. It's like, whatever is hidden is hidden for, for a reason. You know what I'm saying? It must, I might not supposed to find out. I, I might not supposed to see it. Like, you think it different. You know what I'm saying? I feel like you were stuck at a certain location where you could have things could have changed for you okay it could have changed for you any day but you were stuck in a certain energy of disappointment let down maybe giving a motherfucker a, a chance over and over and over but it's like okay you knew better you know what i'm saying like this was definitely an experience for you that taught you about yourself you know and I feel like it brought wisdom to you this is definitely a day to be happy a day to be thankful for a a day that this is a day to smile you know what I'm saying because you overcame this energy this was some tough energy just in the dark you know what I'm saying you overcame it so you moving forward just free and successful and you may had to leave a certain motherfucker behind you know but this person is watching you leave like this person may admire you in a sense may look up to you in a sense this person could have had an issue with their ego, a, a, a issue with att- attention. You know what I'm saying? And it's like you're not giving this person no type of attention no more, I feel like. This person may just want to argue with you, you know, because I feel like this person is mad. You may not be talking to this person no more. Emotionally, you just not fulfilled. You know what I'm saying? You had to let it go. You definitely had to let this person go. And you may have just done this shit overnight. Or it happened quick where you freed yourself from it. Like, you're not codependent over this person. You know what I'm saying? You don't need this person. It's like finally realizing that and setting yourself free from it. Like, I don't need nobody but me. You know what I'm saying? It's like that type of shit here. Like, this person... It's like going through the consequences of their actions. You know what I'm saying? Even though you emotionally detach and you set yourself free from it, it sets them free. You know what I'm saying? It gives them an opportunity to start over, to let go, 
to balance the energy out. They don't want that. They trying to block change here. You know, they don't want to start a new cycle. They want to continue in this cycle, but it's closing. They they are forced. They're going to be forced to leave you the fuck alone. Okay, because they don't want to see you go. They don't. They're going to feel this energy of not good enough. They're going to feel this rejection energy. They're going to feel this energy of lacking somewhere emotionally. They may be sad, you know. They're going to definitely be in their feelings here when it comes to you. Maybe you was dealing with this person for a long time, you know, too damn long. And they just don't want to let you go. They don't want to let you go. This is like some I can Tina type shit. Like the name stays, you know what I'm saying? Like something going on here where they going to try to come back. But then they're going to have to deal with the consequences of those actions for coming back. So they may try to come back and disturb your peace or something like that or try to finesse you or try to manipulate you or it's something that they're going to try to do, but they're going to have to answer to that. And they still going to be feeling this energy of not good enough. They're going to feel that. Because you have turned your back on them. You know what I'm saying? You don't have no choice but to turn your back on it. Like, you don't have no choice but to let it go. It's like, why continue being unfulfilled? It's like, okay, change. Something has to change. You had to let this person go to feel like this. You know what I'm saying? Right now. So you feel free. You feel good. You know, it's like, why would you go back to feeling free? hurt like you already know what that felt like you was you was getting some type of pleasure out of pain or something like that dealing with it like you loved being let down (laughs) like because you kept getting let down kept kept getting like let down so you must was enjoying that could have been break up to make up break up to make up break up you know what i'm saying it's like okay this is unfulfilling this needs to be over like I can't keep living my life like this something needs to change like I'm doing too good in life to be feeling like this like I'm supposed to be enjoying shit going out kicking it living in the moment and I'm sitting here getting pleasure out of pain. What the fuck is wrong with me? It's like that type of shit here. So yeah, this is definitely a day to be thankful to even make it to this day. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of motherfuckers didn't even make it to this fucking day. So I feel like it's just a humbleness here. Free. Fulfilled. Most definitely. Definitely. It's like, no, I'm not finna be unfulfilled. I'm finna be fulfilled. Okay? Definitely fulfilled. And overcoming all that that energy where fear and, oh, I don't know what the fuck is going on. I'm losing control. Fuck all that shit. You got control. You know what I'm saying? You got control. You overcame a lot of shit. And it's time to move forward and leave motherfuckers behind. Leave motherfuckers where they at. Eventually, motherfuckers will catch up. But by that time, you're going to be to way ahead. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Thumbs the fuck up if that shit just made sense. And, um, yeah. That's really all I got. Peace out, y'all.